Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make this yellow ombre cake. To begin, I'm going to make the cake, and it's a marble cake, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm starting off with my butter. I'm going to beat until it's nice and light and fluffy. And then in small stages, I'm going to add in my custard sugar. I'm going to let that beat for a couple of minutes until it's nice and light and fluffy, and I'll add in my vanilla extract. And I'll have the recipe for this video in the description box below as well. I'm going to add in my eggs one by one, and then add in my sour cream, and also add in my milk, although you could add your milk um, in stages while you add your flour as well. I'm adding in all my flour, letting that run for uh, just a couple of seconds until it's all nice and incorporated, and then I'm going to divide the batter into two different bowls. The reason why I'm doing that is because now I'm going to add in my cocoa powder into the standing mixer bowl, and I'm going to mix that through to make my chocolate um, version of the cake. And I have three seven inch pans here and I'm spooning in one um, tablespoon each just around the cake uh, tins so it's nice and even and I'm alternating the colors as well so that when I swirl it um, there's enough kind of uh, color to go through uh, throughout the cake. So I'm just tapping it on the counter to make sure there's no air bubbles and then using a skewer I'm just kind of swirling it in a loopy kind of uh, pattern and because we have even amount of colors in there it'll uh, blend through really really well. I'm going to bake that at 180 degrees for about 50 minutes and then I'm going to start cutting off the top of the cake just by scoring around the cake to make sure that I have a line to guide me to make sure that it cuts um, evenly. Cut off the top and then do the exact same for the middle of the cake. Now you have two slices so it'll be six slices of cake in total. I'm going to add a little bit of buttercream onto my cake board and attach my first layer of cake. And that was the top of the cake, sorry, the bottom, so it's nice and flat. I'm going to press that down so it adheres and then adding my buttercream frosting into the middle of the cake there. And I thought it was a little bit uneven so I went through with my spatula just to even it out a bit. Because it is a tall cake you want to make sure that you get the, um, kind of the evenness down pat from the beginning. Otherwise you'll end up with a bit more of a lopsided cake, so try and keep an eye on that and continue building the layers on. At the very end, I'm gonna add the top uh, cake, which was with the flat side facing up, and I'm gonna put a nice crumb coat around the whole of the cake. I'm gonna flatten at the top, clean my cake board, and then I'll go in with the um, buttercream. So I'm using some yellow buttercream here, and I colored it with some gel food color. And using a piping bag fitted with a basket weave nozzle, I'm going to pipe two layers all the way around the cake. And you could probably just use uh, a circle nozzle for this as well. I don't really think it's um, you need the basket weave, but I used it because I found that, I don't know, maybe it's a bit neater. Could be in my, in my head, but anyway. Going to put in some regular coloured buttercream frosting into what was left of our yellow, and that just makes the shade lighter each time. And I did two rows of that and then three rows of the regular colored buttercream. I'm gonna add another layer to the top, just with my spatula. I'm going back and forth to spread it. And then I'm gonna even out the top. All right, and then I'm gonna use a bench scraper to take off any excess. And to also even out those layers as well. And just keep going around to get a nice flat surface. And if you don't get it completely fat, flat, that's okay, we're going to go in later on and clean up those areas. And I've got my little spatula and I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can while rotating my cake board just to indent those really cool rusty kind of um, lines into the side of the cake. And as I go up and start on a different level, I make sure to overlap it slightly with the bottom. And you can see on the edge of the cake here a lot better those different layers, those different levels. And I've got that bit of a section there that uh, didn't have any buttercream, bit of a hole there, so I'm going to fill that in. That fixes that real easy. And just continue with the rest of the cake. Applying a little bit of pressure and just keeping it as steady as you can while rotating the cake to make sure the line's nice and straight. Then at the top I'm just going to even it off just before I start doing the same pattern at the top. And to do that, I'm just keeping my spatula steady and again rotating my turntable. 
And this time I didn't remove the spatula from the cake, I just let it slide all the way through and just moved it more and more towards the center as I kept going. Till you reach the middle of the cake and you're sweet. That's how you make a very simple ombre cake. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you Tuesday.